So, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, or a lot of people will say Otter's such a overnight success. It, yeah, it is an overnight success, but it's a long overnight. <laughs> it's, it goes clear back to 1981. So the evolution of otter comes out of manufacturing. There's been years of, of molding and tooling, uh, importing tools. Um, before the otter box ever came along in the mid 90s was where the first concepts and drawings were done of just a small waterproof box. Um, the way it evolved into electronics and where it is today is by people using the waterproof box to protect their electronics and then going, hey, I want to use my electronics through the case so they're protected. And then as the electronics evolved, so did the case. So again, listening to the customer, adapting to the customer. Um, that's really how it happened. But what people miss many times when they think of OtterBox is that first 20 years. <laughs> 20 years of manufacturing, of importing, and building custom products for many other people. Much of our attention and energy was going in, still going into other people's products, but strategically then and financially, we had to make the decision, where are we going to focus? So we moved to Old Town, went down, basically we got out of manufacturing, sold everything. Um, it, was, it was a tough transition. And then we went into the years of, of developing new products for electronics, and from there we grew I mean, I don't know how many years we were on the, you know, Inc. 100 and Inc. 1000, but we were one of the fastest growing comp companies in the United States for quite a few years. I don't know that you ever planned to grow the way we grew. Um, for us, it was about strategic planning, and without our strategic planning system that we use here, we would not have been able to change consistently and always be working on the most important thing all the time without that process and those systems in place. You know, I, I think one of the biggest people ask me sometimes, what's one of the biggest learnings you learned along the way? And that's that systems run the business, but people run the systems. So you've got to be careful how you hire and you have to guard your culture from bureaucracy. And uh, that's tough. It's really tough because, you know, here at Otter, we're, we're thousand employees strong globally and and uh, it gets a lot harder to run the ship the bigger it gets well one reason I have a Titanic in my office is basically is don't get too cocky you know it's easy to think that you're the the big ship in the ocean and nothing's gonna sink you and you're unsinkable right well it doesn't always work out that way as we can tell from history and and I don't think business is any different so I think it's important that Otter is, is humble, that Otter is strategic, that Otter is always thinking about what's next and where we should go next. We've set up a couple different business units within Otter to move in different directions. Um, we're gonna continue to grow our core with different offerings within the existing channels as well as uh, within the mobile space. But then we are also moving into the more of the outdoor sporting space. You know, I'm not going to go into specifics now exactly what that is. That'll really launch in June. So um, you'll see Otter with a whole new product line and a whole new industries coming out in June and continuing to grow in that space and invest in that space and potentially acquire in that space as well.